let us lay out and get to the tail of the tape. For our co-main event, Dan Ige, 30 years of age. He is a plus 320 betting underdog tonight against the 28-year-old Russian mobstar Iavloya. Both fighters five foot seven inches tall. Reach advantage resides in the blue corner with mobstar Iavloya. All right, now for the intros, here's Joe Martinez. Hey now, fight fans, we are set to go with the next fight tonight. Three rounds, this in the UFC featherweight division. Introducing to you first, fighting out of the blue corner. He's a freestyle fighter standing five feet, seven inches tall. Weighing in at the featherweight limit, 146 pounds. In 15 fights, he is perfect. 15 victories with no defeats. Fighting out of Sunza, Republic of Ingushetia, Russia. Here is the undefeated. His background, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, wrestling, and boxing. Also standing five feet, seven inches tall, he weighed in officially 145 and one half pounds. In 20 fights, his record 15 victories with five defeats, presenting the UFC's number 10 ranked featherweight contender in the world, fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, by way of Haleiwa, Hawaii. Here is Dan, 50K Eagle! And your referee in charge is Keith Peterson. Loudest of the night when Dan Ige was just introduced there by Sir, Joe Martinez. Sir, are you ready? Fight. Co-main event is upon us. This fight clock is brought to you by proper number 12, Irish Whiskey. Yevloyev is in red. Dan Ige is in black. Strong inside leg kick early for Yevloyev. Ooh. Nice one, connection, two. yeah. Nice jab there by Ige as well. Yeah, not rushing things really, because he knows that that takedown is always there for Ivloyev, so you gotta be careful. Good jab from Ivloyev so, so far as well. Certainly the bloated nature of the betting line for this fight was not lost on Dan Ige. And we have seen steady money coming in on Mobsar Ievloyev so much so that he closed north of minus 400 despite having a lower ranking. Ooh. Solid one two from Ievloyev off the gloves though of Ige. You hear good geography coming from Eric Nixick, meaning it's his cage, control it. Take that center. Don't rush it. Yeah, I see that too. If Loyev has a tendency, it seems to fade off to one side or the other. Nice front kick up the middle. Yevloyev trying to get his jab going here, about two minutes into round one. Some real redness on that right eye of Dan Ige. Feels like he comes into the fight with a couple it, black it, eyes. Yeah, it does. It's just <laughs> Got them cheekbones. Yeah. Ooh, big right hand, just missed. Oh, my goodness, they're cracking, John. I'm telling you, man. Ige's jab gets through the guard of Yevloyev. Nice body shot from Ige. Yeah, very good body work there. Oh! Oh, that landed. That hurt Dan. Yeah, it looked like the Yevloyev counter landed flush. Dan's trying to clear the cobwebs. Yevloyev knows it. And Ige's Dan, forehead has been cut open. If you open. see the replay, John, I can't believe Dan Ige's even moving around on his feet right now. Unbelievable counter flying knee there from Ivloyev, but that's what we talked about in the lead up. Dan Ige's, he's definitely tough, if anything. Skilled, yes. Tough, damn sure. He's got to get something back to get the respect of Ivloyev because he's starting to really loosen up. Man. Ivloyev just so clean and fluid and relaxed in transition and not at all a man you want anywhere near your back. No, not at all. This is not what you want. But Dan trying to get back up to his feet. Ivloyev going to try to sag down. Okay. 
You heard a protest there from Pahumpa after Ige got away with Ooh. the fence grab. Didn't get away with that one. No, he did not. Big slam as well from Ivloyev, just showing the physical strength that he possesses. Cinching around that waist. Nice elbow from Ike. And before he can land another one, he gets dragged down by Ivloyev. And this is something Dan made sure to put himself through as much as he could, just grinding, grinding with wrestlers nonstop so that he'd be able to go out here and be able to handle this type of pace from somebody as dominant in these positions as Ivloyev is. Nice work. Yep. That's nice work. That's got to be a bit of a confidence there that he was able to fight through that. A lot of guys get down there will get controlled. But that's not the last attempt. He's going to keep going. He'll chain things together. Yeah, Voyev chooses to separate late in the round. Back to work off of that jab. Over. There it is. Ige able to stick his jab. All right, productive first round. Yavloyev attacks the body. Round two coming up. Just take a look at this flying knee from Ivloyev, right Sir, on Fight. the jaw of Dan Ige. Tremendous. And then, and then knockout, guys. Tremendous. Perhaps if it was angled a little bit, it would have been a different yeah, story, but a nice My attack goodness. there from Ivloyev. And you know, we listened in, in between rounds, to the corner with Eric Nixick. And very good technical advice being given. Really mentioning which way Ivloyev is moving on certain shots, giving him things to actually seek and find in a round. It's just, you got to recognize when, when that corner advice is pretty sharp and incoherent. Now, that doesn't mean it's going to happen. Right. And they were happy with how much they made Ivloyev Ivloyev, work yes. and put out in round one. But even but said to him, listen, we don't want to do that regularly, right? We don't, we don't want to make this a thing. Over there. Over there. You good? Yeah. Right. Hey, don't reach out. Yes, sir. Ready? Fight. All right, back underway. Warning there for the fingers being extended forward and not upright. Good uppercut there from Right, Ibloyev. I mean, he's never done, you know? There's always one more strike, seemingly. Nice uppercut there. I feel like Dan has to, he has to start throwing, though, it seems. He's getting caught. He's getting countered. Another big left hand, but yeah. blocked from Ivloyev. Look at the movement. And the movement is... It's on point. Both guys landed in that seat. Oh, and there's that knee again. That's a scary knee, man. Holy cow. He is find, finding the mark on that, John. And it's deceptive, right? Yeah, it's just, he's so explosive. He's so athletic. And it, there's no tell. There's no, oh, I'm going to jump now. It's just straight to it, right up the middle. You have Loyev, the former M1 Global Bantamweight champion. Tremendous cardio. A lot of people think he has a style that will really be effective over five rounds if he gets into those situations. Jab is there for Ige. Under three minutes here, round two. Ige trying to close the distance. Heavy leg kick for Dan. Yeah, that was a solid leg kick. He's got to try to put a few more of them together, though. There's another one, but he almost hit a big counter right hand. I think that's what Dan has got to try to do. I think he's got to start trying to do what he does best, which is when he goes body, body, and then back upstairs so that he can catch it, Loya, trying to counter back. And for Evloya, he's just honestly got to, ooh, watch the heads, yeah. There's a nice right hand. Two minutes, one. That right eye is becoming a mess, Dan. 
He gets landed some big shots of late. Yeah, Loya doesn't appear to be all that phased by them. But now Mopsar, a little bit marked up. Nice right hand from Ige. Yeah, this is a much better round. I mean, he's, Dan's been hit by some massive shots from Ivloya, but he's having a lot more success. Landing some good shots. He's got to start just trusting his combinations again. I think the takedown in the first round might stifle that a little bit because he doesn't want to end up just fighting takedowns for the entirety of the round. Ah, I got caught up there. That was nice work from Ivloya. Nice recognition by Mobsar as he secures his fourth takedown on eight attempts. There you go, just keep working, just keep working. Big, big lockers, big lockers. Big one, one, just one. Yeah. Big one, big one, big lockers. There you go, get up. The American top team corner calling for elbows. Singularly at that, I kind of like the corner advice. Load up for one. Mobsar Pepper and shots to the body now goes high. Ige with closed guard. Yeah, and this is he's starting to bleed pretty badly up from that eye. Just if Loya, he's just he's a problem. He's a real problem for the featherweights. He, he's, his grappling is intense. His wrestling. And there was and an elbow striking. that yeah. just cut through that Ige did not seem to enjoy at all. Great way for Movsar Ivloyev to end the second round. Entertaining co-main event thus far. We're right back. Five on ESPN Plus pay-per-view. Oh. Right right All right. You yeah, don't care. Fight. While many of our viewers were in commercial break, Paul Eric Nixick with a pointed 60 seconds of advice for Ige to try to let it go here. Yeah, I mean, it, it, you want to talk about somebody that can motivate a fighter and get them in the zone that they need to be in, it's Eric. And he also gives you good technical advice, but man, just if Loyev is, is so damn good, John. He really is. I did like that he said we need to hit him with something off beat. You got to go empty the gas tank. I, 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 He's like, I don't care what happens. You can catch him with something if you just decide to let it go. But then if Loya is able to flip the script like this, and he's wrestling you again. So just when you think, all right, I'm going to come out, I'm going to knuckle up in the final round, he's smart and takes him down. Mopsar, five for ten on his takedowns thus far. And he has had control here through one minute of this third and final round. Dan back up, but still locked around the body. A little fancy grab there. We've seen a lot of that tonight. It, this is the fence grab card, there's no doubt. Both of these guys with two of the better cardiovascular bases in this featherweight division. Yeah, these guys are pushing. I mean, even, even Mozart, he's pushing his limits here. He's on Dan. He's, he's having to fight for everything he's getting. And finally, perhaps some frustration on the mug of Dan Ige. Perhaps oh, he's got the trying to isolate an arm. Yep. It's a good counter when somebody tries to do that Kimura sweep to kind of follow through and they end up giving you their arm. Well, a lot of fans wondered aloud just how good was Mavsar Ivloyev. I think a lot of the featherweight contenders wanted to see how he would handle this challenge. So far, damn good. I don't think they're going to be lining up to call him out anytime soon after this performance. He's going to have to really... Hopefully he's got... If he wins this one, and we still got two and a half minutes left. If he wins this one, I'm, I'm, so, I'm interested to see if he's got somebody in mind to climb the ranks. But never count Danny Ige out. Still scrapping. He's trying to fight back up desperately to his feet right now. No, no, no. Get the switch. Get the switch. Kick his back. Right arm around his back. Such a grueling fight, especially in this third round. They've just been grappling, grinding for position. Lots of scrambles. Stop fight. Let's go. 
Keep working. Heavy on the head, Mozart. Heavy on the head. Heavy on the head. Heavy on the head. Heavy on the head. Mobs are making a lot of these shots count. Got that one right through. Nice little sneaky up elbow. I'm still here with that elbow. Under 90 seconds now to go. Heavy on the head. Not going anywhere. Take the back. Scroll good and take the back again. Haven't seen really much in terms of glaring weaknesses for Iavloyev as he tries to move to 6-0 here in the UFC. Yeah, that's just it, right? When you're watching this, if you're a featherweight in the division, obviously if you're a top featherweight, of course you think you can beat it, right? You're not, you're not going to think you can. But, oh, man, a little triangle attempt there from Ige. But, I, I, I'm curious, like, what's the game plan? Where do, where do you take this guy? You gotta try to catch him on the feet is probably the best case. And Iavloyev still chasing the finish. Nice little scramble there by Ige back to his feet. 30 seconds now to go. Final 30 here. Pro Ige crowd trying to will him on. Appeared to land there, but another takedown for Mavsar Iavloyev. And that should finish, just about do it. Finish, finish, American top team founder and owner Dan Lambert to our immediate left had to enjoy this night as a whole. And of course his guy Mavsar Iavloyev in dominating fashion in the co-main event. Dan Ige was game as usual, but Mavsar Iavloyev proven to be on another level tonight. The official decision on the co-main event. Coming up next from Vegas. Well, fine fans, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards. The totals are 30-26, 30-27, and 30-27. All for your winner by unanimous decision. He is still undefeated, Mozart. Yeah.